Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. One of my favorite birds because I just love its color is the flamingo. They're so beautiful, the pink and salmon colors. Oh, how beautiful they are. And I'm gonna paint one today. Let's go. I have my primary colors here, blue, red, and yellow, and then I have black and white. A paper or a canvas, a piece of, piece of paper towel, a cup of water, two brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, a pencil, and I'm also gonna use a small cup. Okay, all right, let's, let's get started with our drawing. We're going to do a straight line for our horizon, and we're gonna place it a little bit above the center. Not really in the middle here, but a little bit above. Just make a straight line across. Now we're going to use our cup and let's put the, um, the cup here in the middle on the top part where we have on top of where we made the line. And then this is gonna be our really big sun. It's gonna be a big sun. Let's make a circle for it. This is huge actually. <laughs> Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to do. Now, let's get to painting. First, what we're going to do, we're going to paint our sky. And it's actually a sunset or sunrise, depending where you are in the country. And we're going to get a little bit of purple. We're going to get, actually, no. Let's do this. Let's start with just, I'm sorry, I apologize. We're going to start with just blue. We're going to start with some blue, not much. It's going to be just a very little. I'm going to get blue and white and water, blue and water. And then I'm just going to go across. I don't want it to be too dark of blue, a little bit of water, not much. And we'll paint it right on top here. Okay, that's it. I'll clean your brush. Now we're gonna start getting some red and that's where we're gonna get our purple from. Now right here where the blue ended, we're going to start blending side to side with red. That's why I didn't wanna mix it on the palette. I wanna mix it on the paper and on the canvas instead of mixing on the palette. Okay, so let's just go side to side. When we paint the sky, we like to go side to side. Start going down with the red. Try to make sure that you go side to side where you meet where the red meets the blue so that way the colors blend well and it doesn't look too much of a straight line. Now I'm going to start adding yellow and I'm going to go right here where the, the red meets ends and it's going to turn into orange because yellow and red make orange so I'm just gonna go side to side start going like this and what's gonna happen it's gonna turn into yellow and then you go all the way down with yellow to the horizon so you have a few colors here for your sunset see try to make them as as smooth as you can Maybe add a little bit of white as well on your yellow, just to kind of soften it up. Make some lines. Okay. Now, the water is the reflection of the sky. We're going to paint the water now, so we're gonna kind of follow the same process that we just did. Get a little bit of blue. Okay, now we're gonna follow the horizon, that line that we created, go all the way across. And then bring it down a little. Use a little bit of water and into your paint. And then, as we go down, we're going to start adding red, just like before. And it's gonna turn into purple. 
when the red touches the blue, it will turn into purple. Because red and blue make purple. But you're mixing it on the paper itself. You're not doing it beforehand like we usually do. Start bringing down some of that red, but also want to add a little bit of white to it so it's not too red. It's not a red C. And start bringing down the yellow. All the way down. Yellow, 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 all the way down. Keep going side to side, water flow side to side. Unless you're doing a waterfall, it's going to go up and down, but in the ocean, it's going to go side to side. All the way down with the yellow. Very good. Now what we're going to do is, since you have yellow on that brush, leave it, don't clean it. Get a little bit of white and it's going to turn into a light yellow. And I want you to paint your sun. It's going to be all white with a little touch of yellow, whatever you have left over. I like to outline it first. This is a little trick. Outline the circle. Outline as much as you can, as well as you can. And then color it in. Because coloring it in is very easy. It's, it's staying within the lines that is hard. So do the hard part first. Get it out of the way. And then color it in. So you see a little bit of yellow in it because you had yellow on your brush. See? But if you feel like it's too white, add a little touch of yellow to it. Just in the middle, or you don't have to touch the borders so and make it hard again. I don't have to do that. Okay, here's our sky, water, sun. Now let's um, get a little bit of, we're going to do a little bit of clouds, not much. And we're going to use, these are not going to be too puffy clouds. They're not going to be too puffy. So we're not going to use our finger. We're just going to use the brush. And I'm going to get yellow and a touch of white. Okay, so it's not going to be as white as the, the sun. And I'm going to go right here and make some lines. Put some lines on the, on the sky. And I can actually overlap the sun. See how I made a line kind of overlapping the sun going in front, like it's passing in front of the sun. Just making some lines here. You can dab it. If you want to make it a little puffy, you dab it and then you pull it. Dab and pull. You see what's happening? I'm going to add a little bit of a, white, a whiter cloud in the bottom because the yellow is not showing through. So you can lighten it up just to show contrast. I see what's going on. Pretty cool. Just made a line. Some lines. Not much. Now what we're going to do, we're going to change our brushes. And we're going to go with some more yellow. 
And right over here, underneath the sun, it's going to show a reflection on the water. So I'm going to start small. I'll start too big. Not wider than the width of the sun. Okay, about the width of the sun. And just keep doing little strokes to the side, going side like this. But show, have some gaps in between. They don't have to overlap too much. And as you go, go down, you're gonna make you're gonna make it wider. So it's gonna end up looking like a triangle. So keep making stroke, um, different strokes. What's gonna happen is that you're not gonna be able to see much when you go down because it's already yellow, right? So when you can't see it anymore, you can stop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add white. You can make add a little bit of yellow to that white so it's not too bright, but still it's gonna be like a light. It's gonna be white, pretty, pretty light. And now I'm gonna do the same thing over it, but I'm not gonna do as much. Not as much as I did the yellow, just a few less strokes. Yeah, very good. Now you're gonna be able to see the now you're going to be able to see the, 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 the white on the yellow. Keep going side to side. Now it's, it's going to get really wide. When you get all the way to the bottom. You see, I'm just going to add a few, I'm going to get a little bit of pink, like a red and white, and maybe a touch of red, of, of um, yellow. And I just want to add a few strokes here on the sides, outside of the triangle, but not much, because I don't want this to be my focal point, I want my focal point to be here. So I'm just adding some pink on the sides. See, just to show movement in the water, but it's not really... And you can even go here, down here, just to show also a different color because it, we only had white. So let's add a, a little bit of pink there too. Now I see the water moving. Yeah, look at that. Got it, it's very subtle but I see the water is moving. Wow, it looks so beautiful. It looks beautiful as is, but something's missing. And it's the flamingo. Remember that I told you? This is a picture about a flamingo. So make sure this is dry. And while it's drying, we're going to paint our palm. We're gonna use our hands for this one. Clean your brush and let's get some red and put it on our hand and fingers Now, I think this picture is gonna look better with your little hands, because my hand, I believe, is too big for this paper. But I'm gonna try my best, I promise. So now with that left hand, if you are a righty, you, you, you paint the left hand. If you are a lefty, you paint your right hand. But what's gonna happen is that your um, flamingo is just gonna face a different direction. I'm using my left hand. Now I'm going to stamp it. I'm gonna place it right in the middle, right in the middle of the paper. I'm gonna let so a little bit of my finger sticking out because my hand's too big, but your hand is gonna be fit perfectly. So right over here, don't open too much. Have it a little bit closed and stamp it. Use your other hand to assist you, pressing it down. Now 
Now hold the paper or canvas and pull it up. Okay, you can see some of it. I'm going to wipe my hand off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this hand. So I'm just going to color it in whatever areas did not cover well. Because I want this to be all full. There you go. Nice. I wish my fingers, the, my fingers came out better, but I hope yours did. Okay, I'm gonna place this brush down. I'm gonna get the small one, and I'm going to finish my flamingo. I need to make the neck and the head, so let me do that now. I'm going to start over here. Up on the opposite side of the fingers and I'm gonna go at an angle okay go at an angle don't go straight out go at an angle make an angle okay and it's gonna be attached to your palm here go at an angle you see now we're going to curve it right here is where it's going to curve See that? Now we're going to make the head just a little bit wider than the rest of the neck. So just make it a little bit wider. Okay? We can curve it more because flamingos they are very flexible you can really okay now we have this and this you can touch it up you can make your own thing all right now what i'll do is i'm gonna get some white and yellow and I'm going to highlight, highlight my flamingo. And I want to do like, as if I am painting like feathers. So I'm going to make like little strokes, you know? So just make little strokes. So yellow and white. You already have the, the red in your brush, so it's going to mix into that. Can just kind of highlight pretend you're making feathers and then I want you to highlight the neck the top part of the neck the head and the neck is going to be highlighted And then just plain white on the top part of the of the oops, I made a little curve here. Didn't leave myself a lot of room. Okay. Let me fix that. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because then it's gonna stop you from painting. You don't want that. Okay. I'm just making a lot of little strokes for my for my feathers, just having fun with it. And I'm gonna do a little bit here on the bottom. And you know what this bottom's gonna be? 
That's where the leg is going to come from. All right, I think we're, I'm ready for, to make the legs. I'm just going to make this a little bit more red here. Okay. Now, my legs are going to be, I'm going to paint them black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint one leg that's going to be sticking down, directly down from here, from the bird. You just press it down. Stop it at this point. I'm not going to go off the paper. And then one leg is going to come from here, from this little part here, and it's going to bend. It's going to come this way and then this way. Then I'm going to make a little bit of a little feet. A little something sticking out. And this one, don't make the feet because the leg is actually inside the the water. The foot, the yeah, the foot is inside the water. Now make a little bit of a dot right here. And this is the knee. Oops, made too big. This is the knee. Okay. Now let's make the beak. In the meantime, we can make the beak with the same brush right here. I just want you to make a little line coming from the center and you can kind of curve it more too. Okay? So just make like a like a curve. Yeah. And it's got to go inside the red. Like that. I don't like that. And we also have to make the eye. And the eye goes really close to the, the beak, but over here on top. Okay. We, let's, we can also highlight. You know, I always like to highlight. So I'm just going to get some white. Get a little line here on the on the legs and then a little white on the beak. And leave the leave the tip of the beak black. I'm gonna add a little red to it too. I really curved my my flamingo but if yours is not as curved it looks good too and then right over here I just want to add a little bit some feathers kind of overlapping the legs so that way it looks like the leg is inside and not like overlapping see I just did a, a quick I just went with red and I overlapped it a little bit not much pretty cool I think I, my Flamingo is pretty much done. What I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of a, with some red, okay, of a little water movement here. I'm gonna go add some lines right here, just to give an, an idea. See, I'm making some, to give an idea that the, the leg is inside the water. So add some red right underneath on the water and then just go with the white and right here do one little line yeah. it just shows movement in the water and the leg is inside the water do you like it do you see it did you have fun doing it i surely hope so see i can never stop <laughs> I surely hope you had fun. Thank you so much for painting with me. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting 
and post it on the Spotty Dotty Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge, on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.